we're going to dive into back, which takes us back to the previous screen that the user was just on. So here we've got this navigate button and we're going to hold down the alt. We're going to go to that second screen. We're going to use that back function and we're going to put it in the on select for this button and we're simply going to type back. There we go. Now to execute that, I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to click on that button. Let's take a closer look here. If you use a function within Power Apps, you'll notice that it will display the parameters that you can pass into that function here within the code expression window. Now, although it doesn't say it, you can actually pass in a transition here, very similar to how we use the navigate function to use a transition to move between screens. Back navigates us to a different screen, so it would just make sense that we would have some type of a screen transition parameter we could pass in. So let's use that enumerated value list that we used before. You see that it's listed there, so screen transition. Okay, hit dot, and then we have all these listed values. Now, in the previous video where I covered the navigate function, I didn't cover all the different transitions, but I think I'll go ahead and show them to you right now. All right, so here's the official Microsoft documentation on the navigate function and the back function. Here are all the screen transition examples here. The one that I showed in the previous video was a very subtle fade effect. That was this one right here. And sometimes these transitions happen so fast you really don't notice them. So I just wanted to show you what each of these would look like. So you can make a decision on which one you want to use. And I've said before, I do favor the fade transition. All right. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Apps Deep Dive Masterclass.